Alright, enough with all that. Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? I'm back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over the most anticipated sneakers of April 2020. And, uh, you know, hopefully you guys can get your hands on these. I know some of you guys may not due to that, due to the corona that's going on. Some of you might not be able to go to the sneaker stores. Me, personally, I won't be able to go. The store is closed currently, and I don't know when they'll be opening up. But, you know, um, hopefully this corona thing is over soon. You know, I'm praying everybody's safe, my family is safe. Um, it's just a lot going on, people losing their jobs, including me, you know, like, it's a hard time right now, but, you know, I'm keeping a smile on my face, I'm trying to get through, hopefully you guys are too, and uh, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Coming in at number one, we have the Air Jordan 1 Core Purple set to release April 11th. These were original, originally set to release April 4th, I believe, but it ended up getting pushed back because of the whole corona thing that's going on. If you want to get your hands on those, be prepared tomorrow. Um, you can get on the sneakers app, uh, Finish Line, Foot Locker, etc., etc. I know some websites were, were doing some raffles. I don't know about in-store pickups because the whole Corona thing that's going on. You know, if your local mall is open, maybe slide through and try and get it. In my opinion, I like the OG Court Purples more than the second colorway that they have coming out. April 11th, the shoe will be going for $170 retail. I believe two years ago, back in 2018, Air Jordan 1s, they were going for 160, but recently this year, they upped the price to 170. I don't know why, but that's more money out of our pockets to get this sneaker. I believe that it is a 100% cop. Coming in at number two, these are also set to release tomorrow. These are the Adidas Yeezy V3 Alphas. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. These will be retailing for $200. You'll be able to cop these off the Adidas app, Yeezy Supply, etc., etc. Websites like those that tends to resell sneakers or you know give them for retail. I started, I started to not become a fan of Yeezys anymore. I don't know if it's because of the 350s. I said in recent videos, I don't like the 350s anymore. Um, I have a pair of statics that I don't even wear anymore. I got those for 500 bucks. I regret, I regret buying those, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, it was an uh, impulsive purchase at the time. I really wanted a pair of Yeezys and that was the first pair of Yeezys that I ever got. Looking back on it, I will never pay $500 for a pair of Yeezys again unless it's the Red V2 350s or the uh, Belugas. Those are my all time favorite Yeezys. You know, I just wish I had those, but currently I don't, but maybe in the future I'll get a pair. Coming in at number three, we have the DMP6 is set to release April 18th. And recently online, I've been seeing a lot of posts about this sneaker. I believe that there's a lot of hype going on with this pair. Um, I'm not really sure. I've just been seeing a lot of posts about the sneaker. In my opinion, I like what they have going on with it. The all black with the gold trim. The shoe tag that it comes with. The, uh, what is it? Um, the dog tag. I think it's the dog tag that comes with the sneaker. I couldn't remember it, but... I'm pretty sure it's a dog tag that comes with the sneaker. And uh, yeah, like I said, these are set to release April 18th. Retail would be 200 bucks. All these sneakers, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to buy these uh, through Finish Line, Foot Locker, Champs, anything in that category or like the other resale websites, StockX, um, Go. Due to the coronavirus, COVID-19 that's going on right now, has all the stores closed to where you can't go to the store and pick them up. Coming in at number four, we have another pair of Yeezys set to release April 18th. These are another pair of 350s. Um, like I said, I only really like what's going on with the Yeezys. Uh, I only really like what they have going on with the Yeezy 350s. I'm not a fan of them anymore. And retail would be 200 bucks. You find these on Adidas, etc., etc. I don't know why I keep repeating the store names. You guys know where to cop these sneakers at. But like I said, retail would be 200 bucks. If you want those, go get them. Coming in at number five, we have a pair of SB Dunks. These are called Strawberry Cuffs. There's no set release date for these yet or a retail price, but I'm pretty sure retail would be probably 150. Usually that's what Dunks go for, 100 to 150. I like the creativity that they got going on with this pair. You know, the strawberry coughing and like the insoles, um, you know, it's pretty sweet. I like it. I like these. I don't know what they're retailing for, but uh, I'll keep you guys posted, keep you guys updated for when those are coming out. April 25th, there's a pair of Fear God ones that, that are releasing, and these are fire. Triple black on any pair of sneakers is fire, in my opinion. Uh, one of the main reasons why I copped the Black Cat 4s, um, you know, I just like the matte finish, the, the black, the coating. You know, you can just wear it with anything. Black goes with anything. I like what they have going on with it. These would be retailing for $350. I still don't understand why Fear Gods retail for $350. I don't get it, but, you know, uh, they got to make that money somehow. So, you know, if you want those... Those will be releasing April 25th, retail $350. April 13th, there are two pairs of Nike Cage Zooms that are releasing. Um, I like what they have going on with these. They remind me of a Dash sneaker. Pretty sure that's what they're going for, for these. And, uh, you know, I like what they got going on with them. I like the I like the gray sneaker more than the red sneaker. But um, retail will be $140 for a Dash sneaker. You know, mm. it is what it is. I don't 
don't really think there'll be any resale value in these pair of sneakers, but if you want them, you can go get them. I'm gonna pass on these. Coming in at, uh, I forget what number we're even at, but uh, for the next sneaker, we have the highly most anticipated sneaker of 2020, Travis Scott Nike Air Max 270s, retailing for 190 bucks. Most anticipated sneaker of the year, in my opinion. Um, actually, no. I forget, I forget, I forget, I keep forgetting about the Air Jordan 1 uh, Dior. Those are probably the most anticipated sneakers, but you know, they're retailing for $2,000, so a lot of people are not going to be able to get their hands on those, but these are most definitely a cop. I like everything that they have going on with this. A lot of people may not agree with me, but I like these pair. I, I like this pair, but I like what they got going on with these. Uh, these are 100% going to sell out, and the resale is probably going to be crazy. Probably send that 600 resale after they release, but um... I don't think they're gonna do as good as the uh, SB Dunks. Those are sitting at a thousand plus right now. I mean, that is unbelievable. So these are set to release late April, early May. Um, no original date yet, but uh, yeah, end of April. Yo, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment below. Uh, share this video if you like. Yeah, hopefully you guys are safe out there. Uh, I know it's a lot going on with this corona. Yeah, just stay safe, be smooth, and peace. Thanks for watching. Uh, you is a lie, uh, you is like a